Comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Et vous? Yeah. So, you know, during the season of Lent, I'm sharing the word of God um, and meditation for daily uh, reflections. Would you mind if I stay with you in this? Not at stop all. and talk to you. I enjoy it. Uh, you know, Lee, we truly appreciate your uh, uh, commitment, your uh, sacrifice and the responsibility to run this beautiful gift shop in uh, our parish. And you know, this not only mainly for our parish, but people from all over the valley and county come here to buy it because there are so much varieties of uh, religious articles and the sacramentals are available here. Um, this is a great ministry, I would say, you know. And I will be really thank you for that. Uh, how long have you been doing it? I retired in 2002 and I started here, I believe, in September of 2004. So I've been here for 18 years. Wonderful. And I, I love it. I mean, I have other responsibilities also, but this is my favorite job and, and it's not a sacrifice to be here. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have the ladies that work here because I can't be here all the time. Yeah because I have a home and other responsibilities, but I have 15 ladies this year. It should wow. be 16, but one of them says, uh, she, usually they come every other week. Okay. And one of them is coming every week mm -hmm. because she says uh, she likes to be here also. And she says, rather than sit at home, I'd rather be here than, because uh, she enjoys working here, especially when cu customers come in. Yes. We get to see people from the valley and, yeah. and outside the valley because we have a lot of people from, uh, Caribou, Prescott, Fort Fairfield, uh, Mars Hill, uh, Fort Kent, you know. And I've even, even mailed statues to Florida, to a friend wow. in Florida, wow. which was very nice. I, I couldn't believe it when she called me, but it was a classmate of mine, and, yeah. and she asked me, she says, that statue that you put on, advertise on Facebook, she says, I want you to mail it to me. I said, oh. wow, and it was a big one. It's one to put outside, the 24 inch. But she loved it, she got it all in one piece, because they're very well packaged, yeah. and uh, you know. It's, it's, uh, it might be a ministry. I, I, I feel yeah. closer to the Lord uh, when I'm here. And, and uh, I've, if that's what he wants me to do, that's what I'm going to do. It is truly a ministry because by selling a rosary, you're actually helping a person to pray. Right. By selling a spiritual uh, reading book, you're actually opening someone's uh, mind, heart, and thoughts towards uh, <coughs> uh, saints and uh, uh, scriptures so that's a ministry actually you know well on our gift certificates uh, the first one that I put out uh, we have a goal and our goal is to supply all the people with the tools they need to get closer to Jesus wonderful so yeah. you, you said it very well yeah. well you know everything that's done here by myself and all the volunteers all the ladies who work here it's all volunteer volunteers oh yes nobody gets paid for anything yeah. so and, no and, we no we we as a parish uh, sincerely thank you for your time and uh, all those uh, uh, volunteers who help you uh, to fill in and uh, um, do this ministry we thank them all on behalf of our parish you're most welcome in my name and in their name also yeah. As I told you, the reason I'm here is to share uh, the daily Gospels, mm -hmm. um, a daily reflection for this season of Lent. Yes. So, uh, may I request you to read the Gospel today? Yes. The Gospel today is from Luke. Jesus saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And leaving everything behind, he got up and followed him. Then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house, and a large crowd of tax collectors and others were at the table with them. The Pharisees and their scribes complained to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus said to them in reply, Those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. 
I have not come to call the righteous to repentance, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We will take a minute of silence uh, to meditate upon what we heard today. Can you see the coincidence from the gospel today? Mm. Because Matthew, the tax collector, was sitting at the booth selling and uh, things. And I'm here to see you exactly at the uh, similar kind of desk, you know, selling or uh, business, you know. Um, this is a beautiful gospel reading where Jesus calls uh, his disciple, you know. Um, his apostle Matthew and it's so wonderful example how he left everything behind and followed Jesus uh, when we say he left behind everything not just uh, the table or the money or uh, his uh, account books not just the material but his past life you know he left everything behind his sins his um, ambitions in life or whatever wrong things that he was doing he left everything behind and followed Jesus that is what it means by leaving behind everything you know it's a call for us what do you leave behind to follow Jesus in this season of Lent you know and there are also many characters in the gospel today first of all Jesus then Matthew and uh, Matthew invites Jesus to his home for a meal, you know. And there are many um, sinners, like tax collectors and uh, other sinners, um, uh, other people. Yeah. And then there is also another group of people present there. They are uh, the Pharisees, you know. They saw four characters, Jesus, Matthew, sinners, and Pharisees. The Pharisees were kind of offended by seeing a great religious leader like Jesus being in the company of sinners, you know. You should know who, what kind of people they are and you are supposed to avoid their company of bad people. But how come you are hanging around with all kinds of um, tax collectors, sinners and prostitutes? Uh, therefore, they, they were kind of offended and uh, were criticizing Jesus for that. And Jesus wanted to make it very clear to them that he as a Messiah came into this world not for righteous people who are doing good, but for the sinners. As he would say it with the example that uh, a doctor, a physician is needed for a sick person. Okay. Therefore, um, he as a physician who heals the sins of the people have come here for the sinners, you know. Uh, sometimes we are also in our lives like the Pharisees, pointing our finger at uh, uh, people who are not, not so doing well in their lives. We are definitely pointing our finger at them, but rather we would uh, want to be like Jesus, be a physician for them, you know, helping them to cure whatever the struggles that they are going through, whatever we can, you know, we can bring them to church, we can guide them to a priest, or we can sit and talk to them, we can help them and know that something, if they are doing wrong, we can guide them and help them, rather than pointing finger at them like us Pharisees. You know, today, this will be our message. Do I point finger at others when I know that someone is not doing well spiritually or morally or uh, in their life? Do I point finger at them? Do I gossip about them or spread word uh, about them? Or do I, like Jesus, go 
as a physician, comfort them and help them heal from their illness. You know, that will be our message for us. Our message and our goal. Yeah. I'm glad that when I like that that gospel every time I hear it, when he says he didn't come for the people who are well, he came for the sinners. Because I'm a sinner, like you know, like most of us are, and and I'm glad that he's here for me, and I know that he's helping me. I know that he's forgiven me many things, and uh, I appreciate that to no end. And I want to be close to him, and, yes. and I ask always to be able to get closer to him. And you always, I always wonder what could I do during Lent to really deepen my faith. Hopefully that he will guide me and, and lead me where he wants me. That's what the question I wanted to ask. What is your plan for the Lent? Ah, well now you know. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, it's 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 always a challenge for for me every year. What could I do this year to 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 just feel closer to Jesus, to to get closer to him and and to really feel his presence, which I do. I do most of the time. Sometimes I don't, but. Uh, that's okay. I mean, uh, I don't. I don't deserve it ever. So, I appreciate when I do feel His presence. Um, I love to spend time with Him, whether it's here or in adoration upstairs on Tuesdays, uh, at home. Uh, I walk in the house, in my house, and I talk to Him like I'm talking to you. Yes. I, I, that's just a habit I have. And I live alone, so I can do that. When I had a cat, I used to say I was talking to the cat, but now I don't have a cat. So, with these thoughts, uh, we will pray for ourselves and also pray for all those people who are in need of uh, our prayer today. Yes, and all the sick people and the people of Ukraine. Yeah. God, our loving Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the many blessings you have given us in our lives. We thank you for the wonderful ministry, our Lee St. Ange and all the wonderful volunteers who help her in this gift shop selling religious articles and sacramentals which will help all our parishioners and all the people who want to come closer to you. These sacramentals lead us towards you. Lord bless their ministry, bless them for their time and dedication bless them with good health of mind body and spirit and we also ask all the people who are struggling in their lives like the tax collectors and sinners we are all sinners we all have struggles and difficulties in our lives lord give us the grace that during this season of lent we may make efforts to leave behind the unwanted things from our lives Leave behind everything like Matthew and follow you faithfully in our lives. And we ask all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thank you very much. I'm sure I will. How else? What else can I have yes. after all this beautiful talk? Thank you. For, merci beaucoup for uh, uh, letting me to come and... Uh, share with you the word of God today. Pleasure was all mine. Yeah. Merci. Thank you for doing it.